Hey, welcome back guys to the Nick and Cameron YouTube channel. Uh, Cameron's behind the camera right now. And um, I'm here today with my uh, 97 Yamaha Warrior 350. Um, you guys may or may not have seen this on the channel before. Um, but as you guys can see, it's pretty muddy today. Um, it's been about three months since we last rode it. We rode it in December was the last time. So uh, we're getting it ready for spring. And uh, so we're going to give it a bath, get all that grass and dirt off of it. Um, after that fun we had and then we're going to talk about what we have fixed over the about course of almost a year now of kind of working on this thing and having it on the channel and um then we're going to give it a rip and um i guess so uh, just stay tuned to hear about what we our thoughts on the warrior okay guys we're going to get to washing it um it's kind of like washing a car um it's all plastics but and stuff so i'm just going to use some basic this is a uh, mcguire's but you don't have to use like this specific is just basic car wash soap car wash soap and we use a bucket and uh this is not like paint or anything so i'm not going to use some like microfiber sponge or anything but uh these are kind of soft this one's pretty soft brush and i will say you need to be delicate <coughs> when you these these are original decals on here from 1997 and um they kind of flake if you really rub on them so i'm gonna be pretty delicate on that and um uh, then i'm gonna use this brush to get in the nooks and crannies this one pretty good so uh, we're just going to rinse her, start by rinsing her off and then uh, get to work with the soap. And uh, we'll show you guys a little time lapse of us working on it. Okay, as you guys saw in that time-lapse clip, um, me and Cameron worked on uh, giving this thing a bath, much needed. Um, it looks pretty good now, not perfect. I mean, there's still like obviously scratches. There's a little dirt here and there or whatever, but it can only be so good because this thing does have some rust. Um, so if you guys have seen our videos before on this Warrior, you guys kind of know what we've done to it. But um, for those that haven't and that don't really know that much about Warriors, um, I guess we're going to get into what we have done to this 350. So um about a year ago almost the exact same maybe a few weeks away me and cameron took this thing out of the barn that it was sitting in for like a decade uh here at um <clears throat> my house and um cleaned it up got it started put a new carburetor on it and stuff so we'll start with kind of what we did very first so yeah like i said we put a new carb on it's a chinese amazon card that was like 30 dollars um we tried to uh kind of take apart and clean the original makuni but it uh, had all the, sail the seals failing and it just leaked fuel everywhere and it didn't run the best. So um, sadly, the Makuni is in a box, but um, I kind of want to rebuild it. So um, because this thing doesn't hold a very good idle, I will say about the Chinese carb. So if you guys are thinking about getting an Amazon Chinese carb and you have a Makuni that you could rebuild or an original one or whatever, uh, I would definitely go that route before you go for the replacement. Um, but other stuff we've done. Um, well, the big one uh, was we, well, first of all, we cleaned out the airbox and stuff you guys can see under the seat. Uh, we didn't drill those holes. That was from a previous owner, even before my family got it. This is a different battery. This is actually not a direct Warrior battery. This is an AGM solid state battery that we got for a different project. Um, if you guys saw our big red videos, we used it for that, but then um, it fit in here and it was a really good battery. So we just used it in here. So <laughs> that battery is really good, by the way. It's quite pricey though. But uh, this thing just sat for like three months and it just started like that. And the battery was great. Um, what else did we do? We did a new spark plug. We got a new coil, but we didn't put the uh, new coil on. We cut the old coil and got the wires to pull out a little bit and it works great. Um, the big thing though was this whole rear end. So um, it doesn't look brand new now that we've ridden on it a couple times, but this is a brand new axle carrier, brand new axle. This caliper is original uh but this is actually a used um like new to us good rotor and the hub assembly that like slides over uh because like when i was shopping for one i couldn't find a new one so i had to buy one and it was the only one on the internet at the time and then so many people were saying that Vito's performance made one but i think that one's for a banshee because 
There were a bunch of them, but they were always for banshees or blasters because they share the same axle. Other stuff we've done. We did an oil change on the very first day. Yeah, if you guys want to see, that's actually one of our <laughs> more entertaining videos of us working on the axle. It was uh, very arduous and it took like six hours or whatever. I don't know. It was it was crazy. And then we waited for parts forever to get the parts in, and we finally got it done. Um, so you guys can check those videos out. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we did a oil change. Um, and really, I think we didn't really do anything else actually to it. I can't really think of it. Um, so we changed out the gas and like yeah, the gas when we first pulled it out and kind of like the got it running first time was absolutely totally varnished and like crystallized in the carburetor. Um, it was absolutely ruined and that's what ruined the carburetor. So um, there hasn't really been any major maintenance problems. Um, this thing is not ton a ton of hours, you know, on riding and stuff, but um the main thing was that axle was shot because we lent it out to a friend and they took it to the dunes and then like we got it back and it was just like something was wrong i don't know maybe it was just time to replace it or whatever it ride, yeah we actually in the original video that we made on this um we were riding on that bad axle and actually riding with the new one versus the old one didn't like make a totally different performance difference even though the bearings were absolutely shot it was just that it just made this atrocious sound every time you turned and um, it sounded absolutely horrible and it needed to be replaced. Um, and I think it was kind of unsafe actually because um, it could probably like lock up or any, any moment or something. But um, yeah, so there hasn't been a huge, like there's no major na uh, maintenance nightmares and these things are pretty reliable if you guys are thinking about getting one. So I guess I'll show you guys, um, we'll get to riding it, but I'll show you guys the thing was sitting for like three months and we just started it um, and we just literally pulled it out started it and it started no problem also the tires are pretty old if you guys notice or whatever so we're going to try to start this thing right now it's in neutral put the clutch in oh and the fuel's on these china chinese carburetors the choke works fine oh the choke's on oh shit might be flooded Yep. Might be flooded. Maybe not. Let me try to choke back on. So as you can see, it's pretty loud. Um, I don't know how you could hear that, how well you could hear that because the mic's up here, but um, it has an aftermarket super trap exhaust um, that was also installed by the previous owner. Um, I like it quite a bit and it looks pretty cool. So uh, I guess we'll take it for a little rip where it can't really go very big in the yard because it's super muddy around here right now and it'll just tear up the yard. And um, But we'll show you guys um, how this thing has been holding up after uh, basically a year of use and repair and whatnot, and we're gonna get ready for the spring riding season. So, um, we'll show this thing riding. All right, guys, he's gonna rip it. Uh, we can't really go in the grass today because it's a little muddy. We're, we're gonna go in the grass a little bit. But...
maybe maybe a little bit and then uh, probably, probably uh, finish out the video. Sold it. Oh, he stalled it again. Don't really know what he's doing. He hasn't ridden in a while, so. And, uh, Gas might be low. Well, she's burning pretty good, it seems, so uh, we'll wrap it up here and uh, give you our final thoughts being back with the work. Okay guys, you guys saw us both take a little rip there on the Warrior. And um, if you guys, uh, we couldn't ride it too fast here, just in the yard. But uh, when we're out on the trail, this thing uh, moves pretty good. Um, it's a lot of fun in the mud. You can do a lot of donuts. Um, <clears throat> and I guess my final thoughts on the Warrior, getting it back again. I forgot how much fun this thing actually is. Um, so if you guys are thinking about buying one, I would say don't hesitate uh, to pull the trigger, especially if you're on a bit of a budget compared to like the Hondas typically or a little bit more expensive obviously like a two-stroke quad is going to be more maintenance and also the banshees if you're going for a 350 is very expensive and the blasters shot up in price so i think this is kind of the still the bargain um, especially if you're looking for the four-stroke quad um, has a lot of torque six speed top speed says over 60 miles an hour which is kind of insane um, i would not advise doing that um, unless you're a very good rider um, <laughs> uh, we're not crazy good riders, but, uh, this thing's still a ton of fun. Um, and obviously it looks pretty good here. I think it looks sick. So, um, this thing has been pretty cheap to maintain. Well, I guess the axle was very expensive, but I think the Honda ones are just about the same price or more expensive for parts. And so, um, if you guys are thinking about buying a Warrior, uh, I would say pull the trigger. These things are pretty awesome machines. They're a lot of fun. They look cool. And, uh, not too expensive so uh thank you guys for watching the video please like and subscribe and uh check out our other videos on this warrior and uh cameron's warrior and you guys can see one of our most popular videos the comparison video where we talk about this warrior versus an old 87 warrior uh this one's a decade newer than that so uh yeah please like and subscribe and check out our other warrior content on the channel or our dirt bike content and uh we'll see you guys in the next one